In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be merciful even as your Father is merciful, are the words from the Gospel according to St. Luke this morning. And they are mirrored in Matthew's Gospel, also during the Sermon on the Mount, in which this is part, of which this is part, uh, as Matthew quotes him saying, Be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. So this morning, in Luke's Gospel, he helps us understand a little better what that perfection is. That that perfection is not one, as I've said before, of merely following rules, but is one in which love and mercy win the day always. We are called to be living sacrifices to God, to give ourselves up and our lives up, as we've been baptized and chrismated to put on Christ and to be as he is, to become more and more like him, that our lives of sacrifice might ultimately reflect the sacrifice of Christ himself, who in his love for mankind gave his life for us on the cross, that for in his love, and in his mercy, loved and gave mercy not just to those who loved him, but even to those who hated him. Indeed, he loved his enemies and blessed those who cursed him. We too are called in our Christian lives to love our enemies and bless those who curse us. To be merciful even to those who aren't merciful to us, and to love those who hate us. These are hard words, and they're part of that sacrifice which we too are called to give for the life of the world. Our lives given as sacrifice, sacrifices of love and mercy to those around us. In a world in which lots of evil happens, that can be hard. Not that long ago even, I was sitting talking to somebody outside of here in the community who was saying how, having heard of another who, was, um, who had wronged someone else, right? And eventually, even taken his own life because of it, or not because of it, but in that path, and said how easy it is to, one, not, to not to want to have mercy on that person, knowing how bad he had been to others. And yet, even in cases like that, we are reminded in this morning's gospel that we are to have mercy. That we are to be merciful to those who wrong us. That we are to be merciful to those who hate us. We are to be merciful to those who curse us. And so, in doing so, to show in our lives that very sacrifice that God has shown to us. It can be easy to think that violence of some sort, whether if heart or word or deed, uh, is the right response to the violence around us. And yet, our calling as Christians is not to respond or reply in violence, again, whether of heart or of word or deed, thought, word, or deed, but rather to respond in love and in mercy. To be perfect, as Jesus says, as our Father is perfect. To be merciful, even as our Father is merciful. And we give thanks to God that it is indeed, even in spite of our violence towards Him, our thoughts and words and deeds that show forth not a love of God, but rather sometimes a hatred, sometimes just an indifference. And yet in spite of that, God is truly merciful to us. And that as we struggle at times to be merciful and loving to those around us, we do well to remember 
that we are that person often in our relationship to God. That as we get frustrated and upset at those sometimes we say we love most, whether it's our spouse or our children or our friends or our neighbors, whether it's our parents or our brothers or sisters, that as we respond in anger and sometimes hatred towards them, yet we must recognize that God is merciful to us as we have wronged Him. And so we too are called to be merciful to those around us. So let us, as we think in mercy today, especially of those uh, who have suffered from the hurricanes uh, that have uh, bombarded us in the south, in the south part of our southern part of our country, as we support them out there in mercy and in love, let us not forget also that we are called to be merciful and loving, not just to them, but to all those around us, to those who are closest to us, our spouses and our children, our parents, our siblings and our neighbors and our co-workers, and we're called to be merciful to those who love us, yes, and to those who hate us. And that we're going to respond in love, that we, in our lives, might give of ourselves in love and in mercy, and that we might be a testimony and witness to the very love and mercy of God, that He who is merciful to us and loves us, calls us also to be merciful and loving to those around us, that we might glorify God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen.